Hi, welcome to our polar bear story time. I'm Miss Cheryl with Mason Public Library. I've got three fantastic books to share with you today. And I want to start off by telling you how you can get even more books on our website. These are online books. We've subscribed to a service called Tumble Books. Tumble Books and Tumble Books Math. Now these are digital books, thousands of them that are available with your library card. They come free that way. Um, you need to go to our website to find them and you're gonna wanna do that because we have animated talking picture books, graphic novels, read along chapter books, there are National Geographic videos. So if you like learning about animals, you'll love those. There are nonfiction books, playlists. There are books in Spanish and in French. That's just Tumble Books. And if you go to the Tumble Math part of it, you've got the most comprehensive collection of math picture books ever. They're all in the tumble book format, so they've got the animation, they have narration, they also have supplementary materials. So if you're a parent like I am, who loves to give their kids more fun things to learn about and play with, you'll be excited because there are lesson plans, there are even quizzes. Um, and there are quizzes that have been created by math teachers to go with our various state standards. So this is free. You need to go to it through our website because if you go through Google, you hit a paywall. And that'd be a shame because it comes free with your library card. Have your library card handy. Go to our website, www.masonpl.org. Look at the top menu section and find the part that's called um, digital services. So look at that, um, search through that and find tumble books, tumble books or tumble math. So I hope you enjoy it. It looks like it's really fun. Lots of, lots of neat books. But now we have fantastic stories here. Polar Bears, The Bear Report, and we're gonna finish off by reading a book called Polar Bears Underwear. All right, here's our first story. I get to share Polar Bears. This is a blast off reader, and I'm reading it to you with permission of, from Bellwether Media. Polar Bears is by Carrie Schuetz. See how I know? Look, it's got her name right there. She's the one who read the book. So let me turn around so I can show you. Look, let's learn about polar bears. What are polar bears? Polar bears are the largest kind of bear in the world. Polar bears live in the Arctic. They blend in with ice and snow. Hmm. I wonder what the Arctic is. Let's look it up in the glossary. The glossary is in the back of the book and it says here, Arctic is the cold northern part of the world. And even though it's cold here today, we are not the Arctic. The Arctic is even farther north and much colder. Look at that picture. Look at all the ice and the snow. Polar bears have rough pads on their paws. See here? This black part, that's the pads. If you have a dog or if you have a cat, your dog and your cat have pads on the bottom of their feet too. These pads keep the polar bears steady on the ice. And the thick fur and the fat those help the polar bears keep warm. Their fat is also called blubber. 
Blubber also helps polar bears float. They are good swimmers. You see the water here? This polar bear is swimming. And look, we can see the pads on its paws. Polar bears paddle with their front paws and then they use their back paws to steer. Polar bears often play fight. They move their heads back and forth when they want to play. Polar bears are predators. They hunt seals and other prey. Uh-oh, seals. See the seals here? Watch out. Do you see it? Look, the polar bear's there and he's hunting. He would like to eat those seals. That's what predators do. They hunt for their prey. Polar bears wait near water for prey to come up for hair and then they attack. Oh my gosh, look at those sharp teeth. See those canine teeth? Those sharp teeth are what a predator uses for biting. All right, well, we learned some new words. Arctic, blubber. I think that word just sounds fun to say, blubber. Predators and prey and steering. Thank you to Bellwether Media for letting us read this blast off reader. I'm a huge fan of nonfiction books for curious kids. All right, kiddos, let's talk about sounds. We're learning about polar bears today. What is the sound you first hear when you say polar bear? The first sound in that word is p. P, the letter P makes the P sound. So we're going to go on a hunt for an animal that starts with P and see if we can find him. I'm looking for an animal that starts with P and I won't stop till I find him. Now let's give the blue door three sharp knocks and see what hides behind it. What is hiding behind the blue door? Oh, look what I found. What is that? It's a tiger. Now, does tiger start with p? The first sound you make when you say the word tiger is t, 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 t. And that's different than p. So this is not an animal that starts with p. It's an animal that starts with t. t. T for tiger. Let's keep looking. I'm looking for an animal that starts with p. And I won't stop till I find it. Now let's give the, the red door three, three sharp knocks and we'll see what hides behind it. Open up the door. What did we find? What is this? It's a cat. Do you have a cat at your house? I have one at mine. I have a pet cat named Stormy. I wonder, does cat start with p? At. Nope, that doesn't start with p. It starts with a k sound. C for cat. This is not what we're looking for. Let's keep looking for our animal. I'm looking for an animal that starts with p and I won't stop till I find it. So let's give the yellow, the green door three, three sharp knocks. Let's see what hides behind it. So I'll open up the green door. Uh-oh. Look what animal we found. <gasps> I found a snake. What's a snake say? S -s -s -s. 
and s is the sound that you hear when you start to say snake. So do you hear it? S snake. If you say your word and stretch it out really slow, it makes it easier to hear the first sounds. So snake does not start with p. We have to keep looking and there's just one more door. I bet we know what's, what's gonna be behind it. What's the story time about again? We are looking for an animal that starts with p and we won't stop till we find it. So let's give the yellow door three sharp knocks and see what hides behind it. And do you see what we found? We found a polar bear, just what we've been learning about all day. And if you stretch out the word polar bear, I wonder if it starts with p. Listen. Let's say it together, really stretched out. Polar bear. Did you hear it? P for polar bear? And parents notice I'm not saying P. I'm saying P. I'm trying to make the consonant P sound as clear as I can. That, that helps with learning later on. So look what we found. We found a polar bear and polar bear starts with p. something else you can find. Hold out your hand like this. Okay, hold out your hand. Put your mouth really close. Let's make that p sound. P, p, p. Do you feel that on your hand? P. It's almost like a wind. Maybe a cold north wind, an arctic wind, up where the polar bears live. We found our animal that starts with p. Good job, everybody. It was fun learning with you today. Here's the bear report by Thyra Heater. This is the kind of picture book where we're gonna learn a lot by watching the pictures. I wonder what time of year it is or where we are. Do you think it's the beach? I don't think so. Look at this. What's on the ground? I think it looks like snow. And here's, here's Sylvie's homework. Since we are learning about the Arctic this week, please find three facts about polar bears you would like to share with the class. And she has to find one, two, three facts. Hmm. Oh, here she is working on her homework. Look at her face. How do you think she feels about her homework? Happy? Sad, bored. Oh look, she's looking in the living room. I think she's checking to see what she could do there. Oh, she sees the television. And the next thing you know, she's left her homework and she's going off to watch the television. Here's what she put for her facts. They are big, they eat things, they are mean. We're not all that mean. Oh, look who's in Sylvie's living room. Oh my gosh. Dun, dun, dun. It's a gigantic polar bear. You're a huge bear in my house. Oh, I'm actually short for my age. My name is Olafur. I'm Sophie. 
Would you like to see where I live, Sophie? <gasps> mm, no thanks. I, I've seen pictures. What do you think? Would you like to see where a polar bear lives? I think maybe I would as long as I had a really warm coat and maybe some hot chocolate. Wow, check it out. It's better in person. And look at this. The next thing you know, Oliver and Sophie, or Sylvie, look where they are. Oh, there's nothing here. I have a lot to show you. Are you hungry? What will we eat? Mmm, my favorite. Fish sticks. I also like music. Music? Whale music. Whales don't make music. Sure they do. And look what Oliver did to listen to the whale music. Look where he put his head, right into the ocean. And there was a whale singing. Ooh, I, ooh. Oh, whoa, what else is under there? Seals? Foxes, snow rabbits, but they avoid me. There's more. So why do you think the, 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 these animals avoid the polar bear? Hmm. If you said they avoid the polar bear because polar bears eat them, <laughs> you'd be right. Oh, there's more. This is my glacier mouse. It's a rock covered in moss. Oh, shh, look. Can you see what's there? It's, it's a buff-breasted sandpiper. Quiet. We don't want to scare it away. Look, if you look at the picture, You'll see that Sophie and Oliver are exploring and they're going all over looking at different things. I sleep here and here and like this. <laughs> I think that's funny. Huh, do you ever get bored? Nope, I watch the birds, says Oliver. Sometimes I dream I'm a goose. But a goose can't do this. <sighs> and they get out of the water and shake to get dry. Thwack, 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 thwack. Can you shake like a polar bear? <sighs> Sylvie can. Oh, look, shh. I think that swim tired them out. Look, they're sleeping. And they sleep, and they sleep, and they sleep. But look what happens while they're sleeping. Look at the ice. The ice breaks off and floats out into the ocean. <gasps> Quick, Sophie, wake up. We have to swim to shore. <gasps> you can swim that far. Right, Oliver? I hope so. 
Oh, Olafur, you're tired. Yes, but there's nothing else we can do. Sure there is, says Sophie, and she dives down under the water. I wonder what Oliver's thinking. I think he looks like he's wondering what she is doing. And here's what she's doing. She's, she swims down under the water and then she sings whale songs. Whoa, 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 and look who comes. Sylvie and Oliver are carried by a friendly whale who swims them to shore. Oh, that was fantastic, Sophie. When did you learn to speak whale? <laughs> Today. <gasps> it's getting dark. Perfect. I've got one last thing I want to show you. Look at the colors in the sky. Purple and gray and greens. Look at the greens. Oh, those are called the Northern Lights. Sylvie says, I'm gonna tell everyone about you, Oliver. I'm going to tell everyone about you, Sophie. And when Sophie's home, she goes back to work for her school to tell all her friends at school all about polar bears, where they live in the Arctic, about the Northern Lights, what they eat, the geese they like to watch, how big their paws are compared to a little kid's hands. And that's the end of the story, The Bear Report. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. In a minute, I'm gonna ask you to stop this recording and get some things that are different colors because we're gonna play a color matching game together. And you're going to need things that are red, You'll need some things that are green. Can you find some things that are orange and blue? So I'll put these back up onto the screen and then pause this and go get some different things. You could get some, some Legos, you could get a doll, you could get socks. Anything you want. Parents, the idea is to have several different things in these colors. Orange, green, red, and blue. We're going to do a sorting game and a color matching game. All right, so pause, pause the video right now and go get your colors. Okay. You're back. I hope you have lots of different colors. All right, here's the rhyme we're going to do. Polar bear, polar bear wants to play. He wants to play with something red today. All right, so go find anything that's red. Find something that's red. And, oh, look at this. I've got all kinds of colors in here, but he wants to play with red. So I'm going to find some red balls and put up for polar bear to play with. So we'll do one. Let me find some more. He really likes to play. 
while I'm doing this, you bring your red things and put them down underneath wherever you're watching. Okay, so polar bear's got some red things to play with. Polar bear, polar bear wants to play. He wants to play with something. What's this color? Did you say green? Good job. All right. Polar bear, polar bear wants to play. He wants to play with something green today. Okay. Find your green things, and while I give Polar Bear some green balls to play with, you bring your green things up and put them near the computer or the tablet, whatever you're, you're doing. Pretend them you're giving them to Polar Bear to play with. All right, let's find some more green out of my bag. One, two, oh, I'm gonna put one on his head. All right, polar bear, polar bear wants to play. He wants to play with something orange today. Find your orange toys or socks or whatever and bring them up for polar bear to play with. I wonder if anyone has a real orange, like the kind of orange you eat. Or a tangerine. Oh, that's not orange. This is what I need. That kind of orange. Let's put some orange balls up for Polar Bear. Polar Bear, Polar Bear wants to play. Let's bring Polar Bear something blue today. Do you have anything blue to give Polar Bear? I do. I'm gonna bring some blue balls for Polar Bear to play with. I put one on his feet to keep his toes warm. More blue things. Do you wanna do a surprise color? All right, I'll show you a different color. And then you may need to stop and pause to go find something that's this color. Polar bear, polar bear wants to play. So go find something yellow for polar bear today. All right, pause this video if you need to and find something yellow for polar bear. I found some yellow balls. Boy, these are, this is a lot. Look at all the balls for to Polar Bear to play with. Did you find something yellow? Well, that was a fun way to practice colors and to practice matching and practice sorting. This is a great game that you can play, parents, and expand to teach a lot of different concepts. All right, it's time to read a fun book called Polar Bear's Underwear. It's by Tupera Tupera, and I get to read and share it with you with permission from Abrams and Chron Chronicle Books. Poor Polar Bear. He can't find his underwear. What's the matter? Asks his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. Well, what kind of underwear were you wearing today, Polar Bear? I can't remember. Don't worry, Polar Bear. We'll look for it together. Thank you, Mouse. Thank you. Look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, Bear? No, that's not my underwear. Hmm. Whose underwear is it? I wonder who likes stripes. Can you guess what animal likes striped underwear? Did you guess a zebra? It's zebra's underwear, and it's his favorite pair too. 
This pear has treats all over it. It looks delicious. Is this your pear, Polar Bear? No, it isn't mine, Mouse. So whose underwear is this? Did you guess pig? Nom, 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 It's pig's underwear. Here's an itty bitty pair of underwear with flowers. Cute. This pair looks too small for you, bear. I agree. But whose underwear is it? What do you guess? Let's turn the page. <gasps> Ta-da! It's butterflies underwear. This underwear says, I love mice. <gasps> oh, this must be your pair of underwear, polar bear. Nope, that's not my pair at all. Well, whose underwear is it? Whose underwear would say, I love mice? What kind of animal likes mice? Meow. Oh no, it's cat's underwear. Run, run, mouse, run. Whew, they got away. Wow, polka dot underwear and with ruffles. This isn't your pair polar bear, is it? Well, let's have a look. Let's see if this is polar bear's underwear. Wiggle, wiggle. It's squid's underwear. And he has 10 legs. An octopus has eight legs, but a squid has 10. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Now this pair of carrot underwear is upside down. Is this your pair, polar bear? <laughs> no way. But whose underwear is it? It's Bunny's underwear. <laughs> and it looks great on her head. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh my gosh. Whew. Hmm. Here's some white underwear. Whose pair could this be? Let's look closer. <gasps> Polar bear. You are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, I forgot. I put on my new white underwear today. And look, white bear and white underwear. Oh, I had no idea I was wearing my underwear all along, Mouse. I'm glad that you found your pair, polar bear. And then Mouse sang a little song. Polar bear's underwear so clean and so white. He loves his pear because it's bright. Polar bear's underwear so comfy and new. Would you like to wear a pair too? The end.